Uh, there seems to be some confusion surrounding my contention that Gary has abolished guilt, and I can understand that, um, given that his entire philosophy is essentially uh, guilt taken to its logical conclusion, the entire concept of guilt. Uh, <laughs> and um, I recently got into a discussion with someone in the comments section of one of my videos where I had as much as said that um, whatever you think of his philosophy, you have to give him credit for having taken his own philosophy to its logical conclusion and um, made the, I would say, made a logical um, prognosis. <laughs> what, what should we do? Um, and uh, Or prescription, I guess. Uh, what should we do about this fact that guilt ultimately turns inward upon itself, upon everything? Uh, <laughs> now, that, in my opinion, does take courage. And... <laughs> it does indeed take a certain degree of integrity. In fact, I would say that it takes more integrity than a lot of people that I know, but um, I don't want to I don't want to sort of uh, say that uh, that uh, I agree with the, uh, the prescription uh, that he proposes, uh, but I will say though that you can look at that sort of position that he pushes things to, and say that it's ultimately a fork in the road, as I've said. It takes courage to essentially say, ah, the logical thing is suicide in one form or another. Okay, uh, that, that does, in my opinion, honestly take courage. I do not consider uh, Gary to be a coward. Uh, not at all. Um... But I'll tell you something else that may actually take even more courage. Um, and it does seem to be the, ro the the fork that I'm kind of taking. Now, naturally, of course, I would say that my uh, <laughs> my way out is the of that dilemma is the braver way out. But it's you know it's just my opinion, uh, and that is to um, throw the guilt-based element of our ethical system away, <laughs> um, because. When I say that he's abolished guilt, I said that's what he effectively has done, because most people are going to take that choice. They're going to say, all right, <laughs> jettison myself or jettison guilt. I think I'm going to jettison guilt. Okay, there. Guilt's gone now. Um, now, this is nothing new. <laughs> um, ever since I think we've started to think about ourselves, um, to become conscious and think conceptually, we've thought, okay, is life worth living? If not, what should we do about it? Okay. And some people have said, well, we've just got to sort of forget about this mess that we live in called existence and let it go. Whereas others have said, well, I'll, I'll get to that exact same point and I'll say, <laughs> I think it's time to revisit the premises of my logic. Um, and I think, um, well, that's essentially what I'm doing. If I get to that fork in the road where guilt gets pushed to the extreme that Gary has pushed it, um, I will simply say, all right, I want to go back and revisit my premises. And one of those premises is that uh, harm reduction is the end of everything. Um, that guilt is a useful tool in making the world a better place or a less bad place. Um, I would say that if we take guilt to that extent, then guilt has become part of the problem. And it may have been part of the problem all along if we had relied upon it uh, to the exclusion of all other things, um, to the extent that he suggests. <laughs> um, that's kind of a guilt neurosis that takes on psychotic dimensions, as I say. Uh, <laughs> if guilt is doing this to you, it's time to revisit your relationship with it. That's all I'm suggesting. Uh, but again, push comes to shove. I think that, you know, what we'll have is the same sort of uh, choice that's been made since, again, we started to think conceptually. People will just say, uh, if it's me or guilt, <laughs> then uh, guilt's going to be standing in front of the firing squad, not me. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. And again, that's nothing original. <laughs>